Hey everyone, I am in Joshua Tree National Park and this is the hike to Lost Horse Mine, which is right there. And there's ruins of it all over. Now, uh, this is one of the oldest mines here in the park. I think it goes back to the 1890s. It's fenced off now. It's in a really beautiful area of the park. There's not a lot of people here. It's kind of a remote section. Um, and the hike is not too hard. There's a little bit of climbing, but it's uh, there's a lot of natural beauty along the way before you get to that thing, which you could argue has no natural beauty. But there are nice views here of uh, San Gorgonio and San Jacinto, the big mountains, which you can see in the background. And uh, there's a couple options. You can do about a four mile out and back to the mine, or you can do a loop, which is uh, just under seven miles with a side trip to the mine. So if you want to do it, just go to hikingguy.com where I have all of the information you need, how to get ready for it, where to find it in the park, uh, maps, everything you need to know. But otherwise, enjoy these turn-by-turn -turn directions. The hike starts at a little parking lot at the end of Lost Horse Mine Road. It's small, and if there's not enough parking, you can park out on the street in the little turnouts, but be careful. And you just go through the gate at the end of the lot past these interpretive signs here. And pretty soon there's this little split and you're going to bear it to the left here. We're going to start the loop trail. And again, you can just come back after four miles or do the loop for about seven miles. And the trail is pretty wide. It goes up, but it's on a big climb. This was actually the road that led to the mine. So they would have, uh, horse carriages coming down here with all the gold bullion that they'd bring to Banning, California, five days away, and bring the supplies back. And you're just going to keep going here, and eventually going to come to this trail intersection for the California hiking and riding trail. And we're just going to go straight through here and keep on heading up. And you're going to cross over this wash. Now, like most trails in Joshua Tree, this goes over and through different washes, so just follow the signs, look for stones that mark or block trails off and you'll be okay. And we're gonna keep on going and eventually you're gonna come up to this sort of vista point and you're gonna get some beautiful views down to um, into the valley and further on towards the mine. And we're gonna keep going, there's a little bit of up and down here. And eventually you're gonna see the mine in the distance, it's back there by that peak up on the hill. And when you get closer to the mine, after a little bit of a climb, there's a little turn off here to the left and this post marks it. The official loop trail goes forward, but we're gonna take this little use trail and climb up the hill to go explore the mine a little bit. And there's a lot of different use trails around here. This is the main one, which I'll show you, but you can you know, obviously explore them all. At this split, once you're coming up towards the mine, we're gonna go up on this one that's above it and eventually we'll come out to the Lost, Lost, Lost Horse Mine, which is one of the most profitable gold and silver mines here. You're going to get nice views. San Gorgonio, San Jacinto. You can see some of the ruins of where the workers lived and the tools they used. And this was in use from the 1890s, about 1895 to 1905. I have a whole story on it. There's evidently some buried gold here by the uh, one of the first miners, Johnny Lang. So if you go to the website, you can read all about that interesting story. But otherwise, when you're done with the mine, you're just gonna continue past it, go down the little use trails once again, and come back to the main loop trail here. Now again, this is a road, or an old road, not a road in the current sense, and you're gonna go straight up, and it's gonna take you to my favorite part of the trail where you get these beautiful, beautiful views into Pleasant Valley, little San Bernardino mountains in the distance. The views are beautiful here. It's so quiet and peaceful in this part of the park. You're just gonna soak it in and then take the trail all the way down along the edge of the valley there. Then we're gonna head back into the hills, but this is a beautiful part of the trail worth doing the full loop for to get to see this. And when you go down along the side here, there's a little turn off. There's some use trails that climb up to the peak there on the right. We're going to keep going straight. There's the trail up to the right there. You get a little confusing because this trail is not too big here, but we're going to go straight. And eventually the trail is going to 
go away from the valley and then loop inward into the hills here. We're going to come up to our second abandoned mine called the Optimist Mine. Now, the Optimist Mine wasn't a successful mine, but you can still see the chimney, uh, an old bed frame, some tools. If you literally look around, you can find the mine shafts, which are just off to the side of the trail. And they're also um, not blocked. They're very dangerous. So please be careful here. And when you're done poking around here, you just keep going forward, keep going straight on the trail. And uh, pretty much downhill from here on out, you're going to pass through some nice Joshua tree groves. If you uh, look around, you might see some stumps from Joshua trees too. Uh, the miners used to cut these down and use them to power the steam mill, which uh, Lost Horse Mine was. This part's pretty sandy, pretty flat. Where you go into the washes, you'll see there's little signs to help you and stones. And this goes for a couple miles, very pleasant, very easy to do. And eventually you're going to loop back and you're going to see the toilets at the parking lot and the road where you first came in, Lost Horse Mine Road. And you come back onto the road here and it's the parking lot and that's the, that's the loop hike. Right there, about seven miles. So that's the hike. It's a, it's a good time. It's one of my favorites. There's not a ton of people here, so it's nice when we're going to get a little solitude away from the crowds here at Joshua Tree National Park, which are uh, more and more every year. It's a popular place these days. So if you're watching on YouTube, uh, make sure you click on the link underneath the video. That has a link to the uh, website where they have the maps and everything you need to know to do the hike. Don't just watch the video. You need to prepare a little bit more. And if you are watching on YouTube, if you could do me a favor, and click that little thumbs up button that helps other people find this video and uh, hopefully have fun on the hike do it safely not fall down a mine shaft or get crushed by a gear things like that and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments i'm pretty good about getting back to most of you and uh yeah lost horse mine if you're gonna do it i recommend the full loop that's what i like to do it's uh, there's a little more solitude as you go and uh it's a good time well marked easy to follow all right, guys, I'll see you out there.